Meta Universe. An international group of researchers, led by V. Sharkova from Northumbria University, has just revealed during the National Astronomy Meeting in Jandugno, Wallace, that we are about to experience a new little ice age similar to the one that froze a good part of the world during the 17th century and the beginning of the 18th. It will be between 2030 and 2040. The sun's magnetic fields varies over time and these magnetic variations in the solar atmosphere have a direct influence on the electromagnetic radiation emitted by the keen sun, as well as on the intensity of its plasma flows and the number of spots on its surface. The variation in the number of sunspots has a cycle structure with maximums that occur every 11 years and that have specific effects on the Earth environment. In the 17th century, there was a long period of calm called the Maunder Minimum, which lasted from 1645 and 17th, and during which sunspots practically disappeared completely. During this period, in effect, only about 50 sunspots were count instead of the usual close to 50,000. The analysis of solar radiation, moreover, has shown that its maximum and minimums almost always coincided with the maximums and minimums in terms of the number of spots. The researchers have analyzed the background magnetic field and the entire solar disk during three complete cycles of activity, from the 21st to the 23rd, applying the so-called principal components analysis, which makes it possible to reduce the size of data and the statistics noise to identify only the waves that contribute the most to the observation data. The method could be compared to the breakdown of white light by means of a prims to separately detect the frequencies of the various colors of the light spectrum. As a result, the researchers were able to develop a new method of analysis which helped them discover the magnetic waves are generated on the sun's in pairs with the main pairs being enough to count for 40% of the variations in the data. Therefore, the main pairs of waves can be considered as responsible for the variation of the dipole field of the Sun, which changes its polarity from pole to pole in every 11-year activity cycle. If there is a reduction in solar activity similar to the record during the Maunder Minimum, the Earth's atmosphere will also cold. According to Popova, if current theories about the impact of solar activity on Earth climate are true, then the next 2030 minimum will bring significant calling. Very similar to what occurred during the 17th century. However, only during the next 5 to 15 years will it be possible to be absolutely certain about the accuracy of these predictions, since our future minimum will last for at least three solar cycles, which is about 30 years. The temperature drop may not be as drastic as during the Maunder Minimum, explained Helen Popova, but we must examine the data in detail. We are in close contact with climatologists from various countries and will continue to work on it. The question here is, what are you doing for our planet Earth? 
how about you share with us so we can share it to the rest of the world. Leave your comment, subscribe and like Meta Universe.